What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through Route 3, caught ourselves a new Pokemon, Krakatoa, introduced a new Pokemon in uh, Drago, and what else? Yeah, you know, I'm pretty much... I'm trying to catch them all. That's all. That's all there is to it. And now we're going to be going into the Galar Mine right here, and... Well, let's go ahead and talk to this lady right here. Hiya! Me and my little sister have set ourselves up a pop-up Pokemon Center service. Not that we asked for anyone if we could or should. Gallimine is pretty tough on a team, isn't it? I'll heal up your Pokemon for you, friend. Alrighty, so our team is nice and healed. And, well, she's not kidding. The Gallimine is a little bit difficult to get through because there's a lot of Pokemon that you can actually find right here. And it's more likely that we're going to be seeing a few captures here and there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Michelangelo in the front. Of course, I'm going to put Optimus Prime right next to him just in case. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead. Lego. And I don't know where these guys just pop out. It's pretty awesome. And I see a Pokemon right here that, you know, we've had uh, some uh, familiarance with. Here it is, guys. We're going to be capturing Drillmonger. If you guys don't remember, Drillmonger, you know, was caught in Pokemon uh, Black. And Homie was a huge help when it came to defeating some gym leaders and all that stuff. Yeah, it was a very, very fast, very strong Pokemon. And many of you guys loved him. So what's going to happen is we're going to actually capture this guy too for our team's uh, box right here. And from what it's looking like, I'm probably going to be using another box for teams. So here we go, tackle attack, and well, I think I have a quick ball right here. Do I have a quick ball? Yes, I do. Drill, uh, Drillbur happens to be a very fast Pokemon, so let's go ahead. One, two, three, yes sir. Throwing out that peace sign. I am the man. Okay, so here it is guys, we caught ourselves a new Pokemon, Drillbur, or Drillmonger. Balto grows to level 18, and, well, as you can see, Drillbur, the mole Pokemon, the ground type Pokemon, it brings its claws together and whirls around at high speed before rushing towards its prey. Damn good Pokemon, and yes, we will be giving you a nickname. I bequeath you your old nickname, Drill. I wonder if we called it, like, with two L's. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Monger, that's right. Drill, oh well, hold on, Monger, there we go, so there it is guys, we got ourselves Drillmonger, and we're going to be sending him to the box, now, something awesome about this is that you can actually go to your PC right there and then, right on the spot guys, and yeah, I'm going to have to, let's see, this guy, Drillmonger, is going to go into the team's box, and let's see, we got a score bunny, not to... Actually, not to Hone Edge, Rufflet, Applin, Noibat, and, well, Bonesaw, and uh, what was it called? Uh, Drago. I got them all through the raids, and they came out very, very awesome. And, well, it's very, very, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to have them on this team, but eventually I'm going to just put them somewhere else. The reason I have uh, Galarian Ponytail right here is just to have it for show. You know, I did get it from Pokemon Shield, which is the only game you can actually get it to. And yes, I got a Score Bunny, guys. I actually bred it with a Cinder Bunny, and now it's here. Eventually, I'm going to be putting them on a team as well. So, I'm excited, guys. I'm very, very excited. So, let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure right here. We already caught you, homeboy. And look at that. Pokemon will appear. That is the evolved form of, uh, of what was it? Tork or not Torkoal, but uh, forgot its name. Hold on, hold on. Where is your name? Hold on. Jesus. Uh, Roly Coley. Eventually, its evolution is right here. And that is a Carcoal. Eventually, that is that will be a Fire-type Pokemon. So now, we're going to be just getting items, getting revives, and battling some more Pokemon trainers right here. So here's a, uh, a my worker. My work partner and I are perfect in Seek, even in battle. Alrighty, let's go. You are challenged by worker Keith. All right, Keith, let's do this. He's coming out with his rog and roller. Okay, Michelangelo, let's do this. This is a perfect spot to train Michelangelo. So here we go, water gun attack. 
Look at that. And, well, here comes a tackle attack. Not so, well, not so powerful right now. But here we go. Water gun again for the win. Look at this. Yes, Michelangelo is striving in this place right here. I'm actually very, very happy about that. And, well, look at that. Krakatoa grows to level 15. And it's learning rock polish. So, let's go ahead and give it, uh... Well, its speed is not that... It's not that great. Huh. Yeah, and it has rapid spin. Uh, yeah, you know what? I can live without smoke screen for right now. Again, you can actually recover these moves at the move learner over at the Pokemon Center. So, it's no biggie deal right here, guys. And, hmm, looks like we weren't in sync. Really wasn't. It really wasn't. Alright, so, let's see. Ragamrola or Mike Michelangelo has had his fun, so let's go ahead and put our good old buddy Optimus Prime right here. And check Evercrest right here, guys. You're going to be finding a lot of good items. And where in the living hell are we? Oh, there it is. So as you can see, there's a Pokeball waiting for us right there. And we get ourselves three Great Balls, which is pretty good. And, well, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so there's nothing right there. And if we're entering this place, we're going to be in the outside, or the outskirts. And I think, yes, you're going to find a, a TM, which is TM-54, which is Rock Blast. And, it, yes, the, the user hurls hard rocks at its target. Two or five rocks are launched in a row. And, well, let's see. Right here, you can actually sort these things out. So I'm going to sort it again. And Krakatoa can actually learn this move. Michelangelo can. I don't know why. So, let's see. Rock Polish. There's a Smackdown. Rock Polish is a, another good move. So, let's go ahead and use that right here. Since it's basically a Rock-type Pokemon right now, eventually it will be a Fire-type. Now, here, here's a little something that I, I realized in this game. Like, something that's been on my mind. I don't really get... I really... Like, yeah, I don't really get how how some Pokemon don't learn moves if they learn, you know, certain moves, if you know what I'm talking about. Like, during my Pokemon Shield game, I, I actually started out with Cinderace right here, or Score Bunny, and eventually it can learn Double Kick, but it couldn't learn any other fighting type move, which is kind of weird for me. In order to do good work, I can't slack off on training. She's got, she's got the good idea. Alrighty, so here we go, going up against Georgia, and she's coming out with her timber. Let's go, Optimus Prime right here. Alright, let's go, Razor Leaf. Okay, alrighty, look at that, look at that. Oh yeah, timber is getting its butt kicked, but here comes a pound attack. Not so good right now. Alright, so let's go with a branch poke. Let's get this, branch poke, bam. And does it do it? Yes, it does. Look at that. Oh, yes. Optimus kicking butt, taking names. Everybody's getting points. And she's about to come out with another Timber. So let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's go with Shadow Blade right here since it is now fully evolved. Not really. Not really. It's evolved. It's a little stronger now. So look at this. Cover Squad. Looking like a pretty cool Pokemon right here. Alrighty. So let's go with the Pluck Attack. And there it is. Pluck attack does its thing. Oh, nearly makes that Pokemon faint. And here comes another pound attack. How how dare you, man? How dare you? All right, let's finish it off. Pluck attack for the win. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. Okay. All righty. All righty. And more experience points. Optimus nearly grows another level. And she's about to come out with another timber. So let's keep it with Corvus Squire right here. Alrighty, let's go pluck attack. Yeah, buddy, look at this, look at this. And this timber is tough. So here comes a pound attack. Not so awesome right there. So here we go, pluck attack again. Yeah, say goodbye to timber. Timber. <laughs> Pretty bad uh, puns right there. And uh, look at that, Optimus Prime grows to level 20. Georgia has been defeated. You make so you make uh, you made for some good training. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Alrighty. So let's move on right here. There are different areas right here that you can actually find some other good items, and one of them is this right here. We found ourselves the TM26 Scary Face, 
And, well, if you guys haven't figured it out, TMs are not really powerful here. It's the TRs that are the powerful moves that are for one-time use. That's kind of like the downside of it. Now, be careful when you're going on right here, guys, because you could get attacked by a Pokemon. And look at that. We're looking at a Pokemon that we are very, very familiar with. Let's go ahead and switch him out. Let's go with our good old buddy, Michelangelo, again. Just in case if we have to battle this Diglett. And, yeah, they pop from time to time right here. You know what? Screw it. Let's battle. Working women are good at Pokemon battles, too. You, do, you don't say. So here we go. Sandra wants the battle. And she's coming out with her dealer right here, which is cool. Cool, cool. Cool beans. And Michelangelo ready to kick some butt tech names again. Let's do this. Water gun. Alrighty, we are striving just to get to the next level right here. And, wow. Still not fast enough. Look at that. Diglett defeated. Okay, okay. And... Man, I'm really loving this new leveling system. And here she's coming out with a Dribbler. So, I'm going with Optimus. The two good Pokemon right here in this area. Alrighty. Let's go, Optimus. Just because you're at level 20 does not mean you get to slack off. So, here we go. Coming out with a Dribbler. Let's get this. Razor Leaf for the win. Okay. Dribbler does its thing. Everybody's fainted. And that's how you take care of that. More experience points for all of us. And Sandra has been defeated. Yeah. Easy, easy money. Okay, so moving on forward right here. You're going to be looking at some Woobats. And I think they will they will come after you. Hold on. And one of us is looking at us. Yes. If you guys don't know, I pressed the button for to whistle at it. So here we have Woobat. All right, Michelangelo, let's capture ourselves a Woobat. Now, I, I don't remember, does Woobat evolve via friendship? I could be wrong, I don't know. Let's go with the bite attack, see what that does. And holy crud, we are getting confused, and this Pokemon nearly makes my guy faint. So here we go, bite attack, and wow. We're gonna have to switch our Pokemon right here. Let's go with Drago. Let's go, Drago. Let's go, Drago. There it is. With a heart-shaped scale right there on its head. And we're getting a confusion. Not so effective. Let's go ahead and capture this guy. And we'll go with the Great Ball right here. Eventually, we'll get, like, some uh, some Dust Balls. Or, you know, basically, off-screen, I will be getting some Dust Balls and all that stuff. Going through the wild area just a little bit more. Battling some of the stronger Pokemon just to get stronger myself. And look at that, Woobat has been caught. And Krakatoa grows to level 16. And look at that, another Pokemon on our on our Pokedex, the Bat Pokemon, both psychic and flying. While inside a cave, if you look up and it sees a lot of heart-shaped sh uh, shape marks lining the walls, it's evidence that Woobat live there. Huh. Oh, that's because they shoot. Yeah, okay, they shoot that, okay. And no, we're not adding this guy to our team. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go back to the box and let us move on. Alright, first we gotta heal our Pokemon because uh, it's never good to have a wounded Pokemon. So let's go ahead and use another potion right here. Yeah, we're on our last legs with potions right now, so I gotta I really have to stock up on that. And here we have two new Pokemon, or two other Pokemon. But we are locating a, an ether first, and this guy is looking for a battle. So let's go ahead and switch out. Let's go with Optimus Prime right here. And grab this item. Look at that. And we found ourselves a pair of heavy-duty boots. What are these? These boots prevent the effects of traps set on the battlefield. Huh. I didn't know there was traps like Yu-Gi-Oh. I was looking around for items, but I found a trainer. There was an item right behind you, homeboy. There was... Uh, never mind. I'm not even going to go there. Okay, so here we go. Russell is coming out with his Roly Coley. Luckily for us, it's not a Fire-type Pokemon yet. So we'll have a distinct advantage against this guy. So let's go Razor Leaf for the win. And there goes Roly Coley. Say goodbye. Alrighty, okay. And look at that. Our Pokemon are growing levels like crazy. Russell... Has been defeated. <laughs> you haven't been effective, homeboy. 
Okay. So let us move on right here. The, this Pokemon I will eventually capture. And here we have another item. It's a revive. And we're going to stay outside of these uh, train tracks right here because, again, you could get attacked by the evolutionary form of uh, Roly Coley right here. And there is somebody right there waiting for us. So I could. It could be a Pokemon trainer. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go with uh, Shadow Blade. All right, let's do this. Huh. Coming this way, I advise against it. Any trainer with a wishing star is in for a beating from me and my Pokemon. Isn't that the guy that we saw over at the Challenger's place? It could be. I'm still going to walk towards him because, you know what, nobody tells me what to do. Except my mama. Okay. <laughs> Smug, aren't we? You. You're the gym challenger endorsed by the champion, aren't you? What a joke. You are aware that the chairman is more important than a champion, right? I was chosen by the chairman himself, so that makes me more amazing than you. Okay. I suppose I should prove beyond a doubt just how pathetic you are and how strong I am. Oh, wow. So, who is this guy? You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Bead. Okay, so <laughs> this guy looking all smug himself, coming out with his Solosis. Alrighty, Solosis. You're about to get your butt kicked again, eh? So, let's go right ahead. Power Trip. That's right. Power Trip for the win right here. Look at that. And that's not enough right there. So, this guy's like, I'm just giving your Pokemon a little chance to shine. That's all. So, here comes a Confusion Attack. And that takes a lot of our HP, so we're going to really, really, yeah, we're going to have to really get this guy hard. And Pluck Attack does the trick. Say goodbye to Seleucus. Alrighty, everybody's getting points. Shadow Blade grows to level 20. And Bead's about to come out with a Gothita, so, you know what? Screw it. Let's go with Drago. It's not a fighting type Pokemon yet, but it doesn't hurt to use him right now. Okay, alrighty. Let's get this. Hey, Gothita. Looking all gothic and everything, but guess what? I got a new move. Bulldoze. That's right. Caught this Pokemon Bulldoze off screen. And its speed has lessened right there. And here comes its competitive. Oh, wow. So its special attack has just gone up. That can't be good. And wow, that really took me. That really took me out. So let's go with a headbutt. We got to be physical with this Pokemon right here. So headbutt attack doesn't do the trick. And oh, crap, Baskets. Oh, Jeebus. Drago. Got its butt kicked. Holy crap. Okay. Let's go with Balto. I like saying that. Balto. Big booty Balto is here. All right. Look at that big booty. Let's go. Bite attack. And that does the trick. Alrighty, Gothita. How does it feel to fail? Look at that. Balto kicking butt. And, well, she's about to come out with a hat. What was it called again? Hatina? A hat Hatina. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, I'm going to just stay with Balto right here. And this guy is like, oh dear. What have I been doing? Wait, is, is that a he or a she? Please comment down below because I... Yeah, I don't want to mistake in that crowd right there. So, let's go. Bad attack again. Big Booty Balto ready for a confusion. And... Oh, crud. Balto's getting his butt kicked. So, here we go. Bad attack. Takes a huge chunk out of Hatina's uh, HP. And here comes another confusion attack again. Big Booty Balto getting his butt kicked right now. So, here we go. Bad attack. Does the trick. Yeah, buddy. Big Booty Balto. Look at that booty. <laughs> oh, man. I'm finding some nicknames for these Pokemon. And look at that. Okay. So, my Pokemon are growing. Drago got his butt kicked. I see. Well, that's fine. I wasn't really trying all, all that hard anyway. Sure. Anything to make you feel any better. Well, that was unexpected. I suppose you're more able than I thought. Naturally, I'll remember your battle style and, strateg and strategies now. I'm sure you're... I'm sure to easily defeat you if you uh, 
if and when we face each other in a, an official battle. Now that we've established that, I won't waste any more of your time. I've already gathered every wishing star in this area. Okay, he or she, please, tell me guys. Don't want to mistake in this whole thing. Okay, so that's pretty much it right there for this area. And, well, let's go right ahead and use a revive for our Drago right here. And, well, we're just going to have to go, we're just going to have to go without the... Yeah, we're just gonna have to go without any of this stuff right here. So the bag of stardust is good and well Here we are making it to the exit and we are passing through route 3 going into route 4 right here or is this route 4? This is route 3 No, this is route 4. Okay, so Let's see route 4 is a huge thing in the next episode I will be going through route 4 and then the next city within that way you know we actually have something to talk about but in the meantime guys thank you guys for watching i will see you guys next time merry christmas to every single one of you guys